Hey guys, welcome back to the Man Family. So today's video is going to be all about this guy right here. If you're not familiar with this, this is the Hakka breast pump. So I'm going to give you guys a full review on it, show you how it works, how I created a stash on it, and then I'm going to share some tips and tricks for you guys. So here is what the Hakka looks like. It is 100% food grade silicone. Your breast goes in right here your nipple and then it just catches all of your letdown there are different versions of this the one that i have i believe is the oldest and cheapest version that you can get i want to say it was around like ten dollars so very very inexpensive mine came with a silicone lid which is really easy to just pop off and on there is another version that has a silicone base that way if you have to set this down on like your nightstand or table whatever it is that you're going to set this down on if you have to put it on there really quickly the silicone one is nice because the Hakka can be really top heavy. So I actually do have a hack for you guys that I will share later on in this video if you do have the older version like mine that does not have the suction bottom. So again, here is what it looks like. It is very soft. It's not going to hurt you at all. It's really nice because it is lightweight. It doesn't have to be plugged into the wall. There's no like wiring or anything. This is literally it right here. Like you don't need any extra parts. This is all you need to catch your letdown. So the way a Hakka works is when you are breastfeeding and you have your baby on one side of your breast. When your baby starts nursing, you will notice they do really quick and short um, sucking motions. That motion that they are doing, those really quick and short sucking motions, that is going to trigger what is called a letdown. Your letdown is the beginning of your milk flow. Sometimes you will be able to feel it. It is a very weird sensation. You can literally feel the milk flowing through your breast and coming down to your baby. So that is what your letdown is. Once your letdown is triggered and your milk is starting to flow at a even pace, you'll notice that your baby's sucking motions will go from being really quick and short to long, slow sucking motions, which means your milk has been triggered and they are now nursing. So the Hakka is really great for that because when you're breastfeeding your baby and your baby triggers that flow and it triggers your letdown, you want to place your Hakka on the other side that way the haka can catch your letdown from this side and your body is not going to know that this is not a real baby because this does have suction when this is suctioned onto your boob your body is going to be like hey there's two babies breastfeeding right now so we gotta let milk flow from this side as well and your haka is going to catch all of that i use this every single day when my baby was a newborn. She's now three months, so I don't use it all the time. I only really use it if I'm engorged. She had like a really good night. She slept for long hours and I wake up really full. Then I will use this. When she was a newborn, I used it almost every single day and it was really nice. I created a stash. I did film my little stash for you guys so you guys will see that right here. So I was able to create a pretty decent sized stash and in the beginning when you're first starting to breastfeed your newborn, that liquid gold is so important. If you're just getting like an ounce, if you're getting less than an ounce, whatever it is, that milk is so important to save and you can easily create a stash just from using this Hakka. So now I'm actually going to show you guys how to use a Hakka, how to attach it to your breast. Obviously, I can't whip out my boob here on YouTube because I can't do that. So I have my handy dandy fake boob right here, which is literally just a balloon. So I'm going to show you guys how to attach it on here and I'm actually going to share a tip with you guys as well. So when I first started using a Hakka, I wasn't really 
familiar with it. Jade is my third baby that I've breastfed, but she is my first baby that I have come across this amazing product. So I was really new to it, which is why it took me a while to film this video because I wanted to really get a feel of how it works and I wanted to test out all of like the tips and tricks that you guys can find online that way I can lay it all out there for you guys and this video can be really helpful. So when I first started using the Hakka this is how I would attach it. So first you want to make sure that your nipple is centered on it like so and then the way I would use it was I would actually squeeze the base of it. I would push it onto my breast and then I would slowly release the base like that. And as you can see, it pulls the nipple so it is suctioned on there. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fall off. But there's actually a better way to put this on your breast than the way that I was starting off using it. So the way you want to do that is you want to pull back the flange. So you want to pull back this top part. While holding the flange down, you want to squeeze the base of your haka, and then you want to center it on your nipple. Centering it on your nipple is really important, and I'll talk about that in a second. So you want to center it on your nipple, and then you want to flip over the flange. Make sure you are still holding the base, make sure you're still squeezing the base. And then once the flange is slipped over your breast like that, you want to release the bottom. And as you can see, you get a way better suction by pulling back the flange. It pulls your nipple a lot more. So this is gonna allow better milk flow. It's gonna allow a better suction on your breast and you're less likely to have the haka fall off. So I can literally like swing this in the air and it's not going to fall off because it is very suctioned on there. So that is literally it to attach this to your breast. So while this is attached to you, all of that letdown is just literally going to be suctioned out and it's going to start filling up your haka. Like I said, do not be discouraged if you only get like an ounce or less because that milk is so precious and you can easily just you know, collect it continuously over the day. One thing I do want to say though, is if you are going to collect milk like over the course of multiple nursing sessions, you want to make sure that your milk is the same temperature before you put it all in one storage bag because bacteria can actually grow from doing that. If you get like cold milk and then you mix it with like milk that you just took out you don't want to do that because you can actually have bacteria growth so if you are going to be using your haka like every single nursing session if you plan on doing so then my tip is to put them in different bottles stick them into the fridge and then when all of it is cold then you can go ahead and combine them into one storage bag to store inside of your freezer so definitely keep that in mind whenever you do want to create a stash in your freezer. Another thing to remember too when you start to use the Hakka is it should never ever hurt you. If it is hurting your breast, which I have done when I first started using the Hakka, I suctioned this way too much on my boob and it actually left me like a ring mark on my breast and it left my breast red, it was hurting. The haka should never ever hurt you. So if it is hurting you, you just want to take it off your breast and resuction it again. But this time, maybe try not squeezing it so much. So maybe squeeze it like this much and then suction it on. So just keep that in mind that it should never ever hurt. And if it is hurting you, just take it off and resuction again to get a better fit. Back to our little demo. Once you have this on your breast and your let down has now started to slow down a bit and your baby is now getting the hind milk I believe is what it's called which is what comes after your letdown and your baby is now nursing 
the letdown on this side has now stopped because your baby is getting that hind milk now. So what I would do, and this is another hack that you can do, is once the letdown has now stopped, it's starting to slow down, you can actually use it like this to pump out more milk. So that's what I was doing. Once I saw the milk flow starting to slow down on this side, I would actually manually squeeze the base down here and if you do it fast like this sorry for the noise on the balloon i'm actually going to take it off because it's kind of annoying so while this is attached to your breast if you go like this really fast your body is not going to know that the haka is not an actual real baby so while you're going like this on your breast you can actually trigger another letdown on this side so that's what i would do once i saw the milk flow starting to slow down and jade was still nursing on this side i thought i might as well still try to get more milk out of this side so i would just squeeze it like this and i was actually able to trigger multiple letdowns so i was able to pretty much fill up this entire haka so that's how i would use it so another hack that i have for you guys is if you have an older version like mine that does not have that suction base that i was talking about in the beginning of this video a hack for that is to grab a mug and i use this hack every single time that i use my haka because spilling that liquid gold can be so sad whoever said don't cry over spilled milk obviously was not a mother because it is so sad whenever you spill your milk and i have actually done it before and it can be so sad when you've sat there and you've pumped out all this liquid gold for your baby to drink and you spill it all over the counter so a hack that i have for you guys if you don't have the suction bottom literally just grab a mug and put your haka in it whenever you are done so even if this does like tip over, it's not going to fall. So I can shake the mug and the haka is not going anywhere. It's not going to fall over. It's not going to spill that milk. So literally all you need is a mug. So if you don't want to splurge and buy the one with the suction bottom, you have the older version like mine, which literally does the same exact thing as all of the other hakas. It's just you don't have that suction bottom. You can literally just stick it in a mug. Another hack that I have for you guys, I am actually going to be needing a nursing bra to share this hack with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put this on over my clothes. The things I do for YouTube, you guys. So I have my nursing bra on now. I know it looks a little silly, but bear with me, you guys. This hack can be really helpful if you typically fill up your haka and you have this chilling on your boob if you fill this up it can kind of be heavy just chilling on your boob over here so this hack is really good if you typically fill it up so what you need for this hack is literally just a haka your bra and a hair tie so i'm going to go ahead and get close that way i can show you guys so you want to pull this down just like if you're getting ready to breastfeed so you want to get your hair tie you want to Pull it down and you don't want to do this too high either because you want to kind of put it at the same height as you would where your haka is. So here's where my haka would go. So I'm going to put the hair tie around like right here so that way it's not too high. So I'm going to put it about right here because that's where my haka is. So you want to just put the hair tie behind your bra strap like this. You want to pull the two sides in the front. You're going to pull one side through the opposite side. So literally just like that. And then you're going to pull it. So now it is attached to your strap. So what you want to do now is obviously you want to do this too before um, your haka is filled up or else you will spill your milk. So this is before you go ahead and start using this. So once your hair tie is on like this, you want to put your haka through it like so. And then you can attach this onto 
her boob now. What this hair tie is going to do is it's going to give you a better hold on your haka because whenever this fills up and you're you're nursing your baby over here if you have a active baby that likes to kick the haka which mine has actually done now that she's getting older because she's three months now so sometimes she will kick this and sometimes that kind of loosens the suction and i obviously don't want to risk this falling off so this hack is really nice to give you that extra hold on your breast. Another hack that I have for you guys is clogged milk ducts. I'm pretty sure we have all been there. I have had one and it can kind of get pretty painful. You don't want your clogged duct to be there for too long because you can get like infections and it can just, it can get worse. You can actually use your haka to unclog your milk duct. And the way you do that is you wanna put lukewarm water in your haka you want to put some epsom salt in here suction it on like you normally would and literally like magic your clogged duct will unclog itself just by having that lukewarm water in here the epsom salt in here and having it suctioned on there it literally will unclog your your clogged duct like magic i don't understand how it works but i have tried it it works well that is actually all of my hacks that i have to share with you guys all about the haka i know that was kind of a lot of information but this thing is literally so amazing if for some reason i didn't answer your question about the haka or if there's something else that you guys are wondering you can always leave a comment down below and i will try to get back to you guys as soon as possible but literally all i could say about the haka is you need it if you're planning on breastfeeding or if you are breastfeeding and you don't have this, give it a try. It is so inexpensive, it's so lightweight, you can just throw this in your diaper bag, you can take it on the go, you can even boil this to sterilize it. I don't think I mentioned this in, the, in this video, but it is so easy to clean, there's no extra parts. This thing is so amazing and I am so thankful that I came across it. I cannot say enough good things about it. I wish I had it for my other children when I was breastfeeding because it is just so easy and convenient just to plop on your boob and use it. I have created a stash with it. I still have a stash in my freezer for my baby and she is now three months and I don't use this every single day like I did when she was a newborn. And I still have that stash which is so nice and it gives me peace of mind if I ever have to like run out of the house or if I get sick, whatever the case may be, if I have to give my baby a bottle, I have that peace of mind knowing that I have a stash in the freezer. And it is literally all just from using this haka right here. So if you're breastfeeding, planning on breastfeeding, 100% recommend this. And I hope this video was so helpful for you guys. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell that we guys always get notified every single time I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done.